So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. Simplified questions are typically very short, somewhere between one and three lines long, which we do have here, and will contain either an equation or an expression. So we do have an equation here, which I'm going to rewrite, x squared, x plus 3, and x minus b equals 0. The question says, in the given equation, b is a positive constant, okay? The sum of the solutions to the equation is 5. What is the value of b? Okay, so the sum of the solutions to the equation is 5. Well, how do I find a solution to an equation that looks like this? Well, in essence, these are this is a product, right? It's x squared times x plus 3 times x minus b, which means, and of course, equals 0, right? So which means that each of these things, in order for this to be a true statement, each of these terms of the product can themselves equal zero. For instance, if x squared equaled zero, that would make this entire product correct. If x plus three was equal to zero, I wouldn't care what x squared equaled, I wouldn't care what x minus b equaled, because simply x plus three equaling zero would also make this entire product true, right? It would make the whole thing equal to zero. And then lastly, x minus b could be zero. And if that were the case, it would make the entire product of x squared times x plus three times x minus b, it would make it all zero, right? Because as soon as you multiply zero by anything, the entire product is equal to zero. So what happens in this case? x squared equals zero. That tells me that x is equal to zero, right? I square root both sides. I get x equals zero. X plus 3 equals 0. Well, I can subtract 3 from both sides, and that would mean that x is equal to negative 3. And x minus b equals 0. I can add b to both sides, and that would mean that x is equal to b. So there are my three solutions, 0, negative 3, and b. Now, the question says that the sum of the solutions is equal to 5. So that would mean that 0 plus negative 3 plus b is equal to 5. Well, let's simplify that. So 0 plus negative 3, well, that's just negative 3. So negative 3 plus b is 5. I add 3 to both sides. And what I'm left with here is that b is equal to 8. The question wants to know what is the value of b. There it is. So our answer here is 8.